chit chat, but that's fine. Excuse me, there is a message for you. No, that's no. not. That we, it's actually you telling me that they're alive. Oh, that's fine. Okay, I'm watching you now. <laughs> okay, you're like. I gotta go in here and do some inviting real quick. Go ahead. Oh, don't anybody come in? Make sure they hit the like button. Okay. I think I have to switch over to my other one because my lives don't show up on, um, under my account on my phone for some reason. Well, that's uh, weird. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's the first time I've done it in a very long time. <laughs> How was the weather where you guys are at today? Not too bad. It was a little bit of flurry when we first left to go out of town. And then it got better. Uh, Diggy Ross in and says, hi, Mark. Hi. Kathleen Elliott. Give me a few here. minutes to get hello. Up. He's getting ready. Get some, I'm getting some invites sent out. He's getting ready to do his haul. Everybody be patient. I'm excited. I can't wait to see. Uh, Stephanie's here. Hello, Stephanie. Hi, Steph. Uh, Kathleen Hello. asks, how is your cat? Whose cat? My cat? Yeah, I'm assuming she's talking about the orange one. Did you post that? It oh, yeah. He was sick a while ago. Yeah, he's good. Good. Yeah, he had uh, gotten a fight and had an abscess that apparently instead of building up where it got big up front, it must have built up inside. It was causing pressure for him. He's fine now. Stephanie asked, "How's how are all y'all doing? I'm doing okay myself. I'm doing good. Doing good. Okay. I'm going to just, I'm starting my haul real quick, ladies. Uh, hello, Kathleen. Kathleen says, hi, Stephanie. Hi, and abstract. Hello, uh, Kathleen. Okay, my first haul, I got this a couple weeks ago, but I got a chance to show them off. I got these at Walmart. These are re-stickable sticky patches, fabric patches. Can't see a thing. What do you mean? You're not showing anything. I am too. Oh, you know what? I'm on the, I'm on the, you, I'm on the YouTube side so I can read your comments. I'm sorry. It's probably lagging. Yeah, just a smidge. Yeah. The uh, pink shoes. Okay. Yeah, there's a little. For I have to get a new internet so that it's not so laggy. But then again, YouTube does the stuff too. Yeah, because I, I have to get it. Mine still lag. Yeah. So I got this one. I just got a cup of cake. Kathleen says, got those in clearance. They are cool. Mardi Gras with sequins. Oh, I'm going to kill Spanky. Uh -huh. I went. Uh, part of the reasons I went was to go to get a sequence, and here I have the word Mardi Gras in the colors that she has for the tags, oh. and with sequence in the Mardi Gras. <laughs> oh wow! So I'll be using that on my tag. This cool one with the little birdie and stuff. Now, these are all supposed to be reusable. They are. They do stick down. I haven't tried pulling them off, but of course I put them on paper, not on. I can't. On fabric. She says she likes them. Kathy Elliott's laughing at you. A taco? <laughs> These are ones I cut up for send spankies and stuff. I cut things out of them. Spanky? What the heck's a spanky? Spanky from uh, Spanky's Crafty Corner that does the tags. I haven't Fire. seen that one. I'm just trying to get cut up with everybody. I figure what are you doing? <laughs> I know I okay. want to but where do you get those nice shaped tags? Do you have to go what to and buy them? You make your own. All mine are made out of those. My tags are all made out of this. You have to do these. Were, this was cardboard that came out of my cat cat food boxes. And then I cut them into tags. Into tag shape. So when are you going to do a video and show somebody how? Like a tutorial? Never, but I don't like you, so I'm not doing it. <laughs> Marvelous. <laughs> I'm evil. I can't help myself. You are evil. Kathy says, thank you, exclamation point. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
These I just got in the mail today. I ordered them off of Amazon because I wanted to make my own mists, you know, my own spray color things. But I have to wait for the other stuff to come before I can do that. So these are just a bunch of uh, mist bottles, mist spray bottles. Here was like seven bucks. It has the bottles. It has the little like thing to cup thing to put pour stuff in, and the little squeezy things for. I love those things. Sold. So that's why that was on Amazon. But this happened to come in the mail today. Okay. Then I got some envelopes because I'm always sending out stuff in the mail for happy mail. Then I got some art palette. So six six piece art palette because I use them sometimes and you know how that goes. I got this just to see how it is. A piece of spray, multi purpose. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Melissa's in here. Hi, Melissa. She Hi. says she goes, Greetings. You're Hello. Wonderful. Listen, you missed this. You missed this, Melissa. Okay, part of the reason I went to the store today was to get some sequins because I didn't want to make confetti that I wanted to do for Spanky's tag exchange. And she's got the Mardi Gras. I'm going through here and I'm showing my one some of my stuff I had already had here. What do I got there? I got a sequin Mardi Gras. Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, Bootsy Sweet is Sweetheart says hello. <laughs> Hi, Bootsy. So I got these sequins, and I got those sequins, and I got those sequins. So I have I have I have a array of colors of sequins. I got some double sided tape. Things like that. Oh, this! I was surprised I found this. Is that glitter? No. Okay. Sequin. Sequin. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are you guys are addicting because I cut out enough stuff. I think I can make my own creeple. Yes, that's Faith. She's a pain in my patootchki. <laughs> yes, that's me. But anyways, okay, so I got this. I was surprised I got it. I had never, I, first, the only one I even found there, though. This is one of those acrylic stamp blocks for the adhesive, self-adhesive oh, stamp. Get it to it. Wait to catch for a dollar. For a dollar. Where'd you find that at? At the Dollar Tree. Well, guess where I need to go tomorrow. I'd never seen one. There was only one there. Oh crap! It's a, it's a it was a stamp block. I'm like, and I have one, but this thing is huge because this is the one I bought, and it's humongous and it's thick. I'm like, oh my goodness, for a dollar! You and your mom find the best freaking sales. I'm telling you, <laughs> y'all do. And then I got these. These are beads, different different colors, pinks. Blacks and mixed colors and oranges and different shapes. Those are beads. Beads, little round beads and lo the long skinny beads. And you got that at they're Dollar glass. Tree? Yeah, they're they're glass beads. At the Dollar Tree. Yeah. Man, you got the coolest damn Dollar Tree. Mine is not that cool. Dude, she's like, I never find that kind of. Stuff. I don't, man. I never find Apparently, that. Apparently, well, let's put it this way. I go to everybody's telling me about all the stuff they find at the. What is that called? Tuesday mornings, and I never find any of that stuff. So yeah, I, I do, but off. they're still real expensive, even when yeah. they're smart. Yeah, the, it's so cool. So Actually, let me. What's in here? What's up? Oh, well, that's the, okay. These, I'm like, oh, I want them. I have to have them. It's a stencil wheel, and this I, one's got this one's all feathers. Can you see that? What is that? It's a stencil wheel, so you can rotate it. Holy crap! Are you sh wow? So there's that one with the feathers. Now, Mark, though, and this one with butterflies. You do so well with your stencil work. I try. I even have a little stencil oh, brush. Oh, believe me, I have, there's some stencils that irritate me a lot of the time. And it still looks like a blob when I lift the stencil off. Oh, look, you got who's that butterfly? This one's got all butterflies on it. Cool. Again, Dollar Tree, right? And then, yep. This one's got a bunch of little owls. 
I'm going to have to check out. I hope I feel good tomorrow. I guess I can go. What's your little owl? Good. I should flip that so I could, you can see the owl a little better. Who knows? I can see, see the white part of it because I'm on the yeah. YouTube side so I can read your comments. Uh, Kathleen there. said, I'll see if they have more and pick them up. I guess her, yeah, the, her Dollar Tree had them. Yeah, mine didn't. My for these, I bear there was like just a few. Same with that block, there was only one block. I was like, Well, I'm grabbing that sucker because I want <laughs> right. And then there's this one that is like, um, what are those called? And what areas of the Dollar Tree did you find this stuff in? You have to look and you just you have to go up and down aisles. Some of it's in craft area, some of it's in um, kids a kids area. This was in the these were in the kids area. Oh, okay. So you'd never know because they stick stuff everywhere. But these are what are these finials or something? I don't know what they're called. Um, Melissa says paisleys. Are they paisleys? Pa maybe paisleys, and there's like a little sun. She also says you have the best Dollar Tree. I, I agree with you, Melissa. He's got the best dad gun one. And, and this one that's got loves and kisses. And and he knows how to bargain hunt. Him and his mom, I swear to God, they'll send me videos of them shopping. I'm like, how is it? Y'all find the best clearance stuff ever. Even but, at Hobby Lobby. And I can never find anything at Hobby Lobby on clearance. Oh, sometimes I can. Sometimes I can't. Well, I think sometimes they're in the clearance thing again right now because I've been seeing videos. Well, I, well, no, maybe if I'm in the mood, I'll make mom go to more because I think it's Tuesday. On, I think it's Tuesday that they have their clearance, don't they? That they put their clearance I, out. I don't know, but I think they're in their big, you know, like they did last year. Get off the curtain. It's Always when I don't have money. She's so evil. Or the stuff that I want is like okay. those people show up at the crack of dawn and go in there and you out. Move this stuff out of the way. Now we're just going to move on here. Kathleen says she didn't see that one. The last one you showed, she didn't see. The love one, yeah. There was another one, but it was like a uh, nautical theme, and I'm not a big nautical theme person. These are stickers that are for, like, they look at tags and little arrows and book things. Auto colant. Daily life, love. And then this is another one just like that stuff, two sided for different things. So I thought, oh, okay, that'll be fine. The most of these are stickers that you're going to see right now. <laughs> three dimensional. Can you those stickers like I had? They're like 3D, so they're like 3D yeah, the poopy up, ones. Up, up yeah. ones. Yeah, there's this one. Oh, yeah, you did. We're the cat you made with cactus, and you're in. And the there's this one. There's some shiny, pretty things, and a feather. This year, my theme. Uh, it's weird. My thing has been power blue, and orange issues, and then feathers. Ooh, I like those. Feathers are my thing this year for some reason. And this. So don't you have this one? Did you use this one? I mean, oh, I'm waiting for it to come up on YouTube, honey. It's a delay. Yes, I have that one. This my, one I love. My mind's almost empty. I, yeah, they're in one of the the first book that we did, the envelope journal thing. Mm -hmm. I have a bunch of that stuff in that. This one I love. It reminds me of my grandma because she liked the, the purples and those kind of flowers and stuff. Oh, that is Isn't that pretty. That, yes, it is. Very pretty. And this one's got, this is just some letters. Because I like letters. That is great. Well, then I got this cute spring one. It's got some butterflies and some different things. And they're loving one. your. Look! I don't have that one either, but they're loving your stickers. Look at this one here, Melissa. The chicken! <laughs> Oh, there is a little chicken there. <laughs> and I got, for some reason, I bought a two set, two sets of the same thing. I don't know why, but I guess I got two chickens now. <laughs> Maybe you needed it. She says, oh, the chicken. I, rep I repeated a couple, I think, accidentally, but that's all right. This one was cute with the little things. Another one of that purple one. 
And then this one I thought was a little bit more sophisticated with some birdies and butterflies. You like this good little octopi. Here's some like little shiny birds. Except that birdie right there has no wing on him. It's because it fell off down here. <laughs> no shadow. Here's two things of stickers I got. One is cactuses and one is happy birthday stickers of uh, stamps. So if he was the stamps they had too. One's cactuses and one is uh, birthday. And that was all at the Dollar Tree. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll be dipped. And here's some, what do they call etiquette stickers. We're doing different things. I got two things of those. I love these ones right here, these butterflies. They're like cute as crap. I like the labels. That's where you're at in your YouTube site. Oh, look at the butterflies. Yeah. And there's some cupcakes. Who's naked? I'm not naked. Not today. What? You just never know. <laughs> oh, now see the cupcakes are just coming through. Nice. Okay, I think that's it for Dollar Tree Hall. Now we're going to go into Michael's. Uh, Melissa says she's gotten those before. Nice butterflies. The bird with no ring. The bird with no wing. Oh, oh. Oh, stuff. So where do you find stuff at clearance at Walmart? Is it Walmart you go to? Yeah, the, our Walmart has a clearance, but that that one stuff, well, stuff from Walmart was a couple weeks ago. Those patches. Oh. Now we're now we're in Michael's stuff. I didn't get a lot of clearance from Michael's. I kind of uh -huh. went. I got the income tax back, so I I, I went splurged a little bit. Oh. But I got these two sets that were two dollars two dollars and seven cents. They were originally six ninety nine. Of um, foam chunky stamps, pineapples, and all kinds of things. There's even a poop. I didn't even realize it, but there's even a poop. <laughs> there sure is. <laughs> Oh, then I got boy. this. I've never seen one of these. I don't know what to do with it yet. I'm sure people can give me ideas of what they do with them. Um, they're, it's a chipboard journal-like. Oh, wow. It's got this really pretty front, and then everything inside of it is chipboard as well. And I assume you could probably buy more chipboard to insert in here to make it thicker. Because there's not only like four, page, four or five pages, but I was like, hey, for, for, for five bucks, I can try it out and see what's going on. Well, with you being the amazing artist that you are, God knows it'll be a masterpiece when you're done. But I thought that was interesting. So Very, it is that. interesting. Um, yeah. uh, Melissa says she loves that. Fifty. Uh, Kathleen Elliott said good night. She's got to go to sleep. So okay. Good night, and I got this. This is fifty uh, paper, like smaller paintbrush things. Like the little miniatures? Yeah, they were like, no, they were not miniatures, but they're small. I go through a lot of paintbrushes. I'm rough on them. I know. My paintbrushes look sad. I was looking at them. But for eight bucks, you get 50 isn't bad. And it's all the sizes I would normally use. So Right. Awesome. And then I got this. A, the Dyson's Creative Journal. I love it. Wait, it's not showing up yet. Oh. I've got a paint, you know, like a thing inside to, uh, to put things and really good thick paper. I'll have fun with this. Yes, you will. I'd seen them. I'd heard about them. I'm like, I'm going to get one just to see. It was right there. I, I That's it, Michael, it. right? Yeah, you can, get them on, you can get them on Amazon. I just... Now this called? one you you probably won't like this one, but I love this one. It's called the Steal Like an Artist Journal, a <gasps> notebook for creative kleptomaniacs. Oh my it's, god! It's 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 almost like Reckless Journal. No, but not as bad. It's like oh. take a nap, 
Take a nap. Fill this page when you wake up. Make a fake advertisement. Draw a flow chart or your work pro of your work process. Oh, I don't even know what a flow chart is or how to do those. I'll I do, but I don't have a process. It's just like, you know, throws up on the canvas and there you go. So uh, I thought that was interesting because it's kind of like the Reckless Journal, but in a different kind of creative way. Well, you already, is it going to make you eat something or lick something? Or Not that I see. This is when was the last time you really had fun? Patrick says, hi, Mark. Who? Patrick oh. Nuffy says, Mark. Hi. Um, make up 10. I have no idea what that word is. Pseudonyms, pseudonyms of yourself. Of your, of your soul. I don't even want to send them in. For yourself. Either. Start uh, with this dot until you get an idea. Stare at this dot till you get an idea. See, it's just interesting things. I think, you know, I need to get myself more. A lot of these ladies I've learned, like they all have these. Well, other, like they have those. My baby boy. So yeah, that's, that's the spear son. Yeah, he's a scary looking thing. <laughs> is he from the Crumpy Crankers or Cranky yeah. Crappers? Or, I can't get yeah. the name right. The Cranky Crappers. Yeah. <laughs> Those are all constipated. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I watched their show that night. It was funny. <laughs> it, it all good out. But a lot of the women have, like, they'll do, they have a society idea, all kind of different, like, idea journals and stuff to help keep the you know, things where they think of stuff and i thought this might help me kind of be a little bit more creative in my head hello patrick he said howdy to all and melissa's letting everybody know he's my son why I, do you i don't know why she admits to that i'm just trying to get, <laughs> i'm just trying to put, figure everybody out who, who's he what's it i'm missing something where, where to go I don't know those reckless journals and that still those journals. Those all, those kind of mind f me pretty much. I just, they just they okay. shivers down my spine. If no, I got these little wood block stamp letters. I got those ones, and there should be another set someplace. I don't know where it's hiding. Oh, there it is. We can't see it yet. Oh my god, they're tiny. Who asked you if you wanted to see it? Well, I told you. you. I told you you're slagging. So you just go with you're the flow and pretend you're seeing it. When I say, when I say, oh look, here's my flamingo, you go, oh how pretty is at that moment. You don't wait for the lag. Uh, <laughs> make me tired, Mister. Make me tired. Here's another one, a little one of Patrick Duffy says, "Hi, you got wood ingrained, I imagine." Oh, Azure, where's Azure? Guess what? Azure Muse is here. Hi, Azure. So I got the second one that's a little bit different letters. Nice. Probably well, I don't know if it's I don't so know. So do if you just with them, with them that tiny mark with them that Ooh. tiny? Do you just do you hand stamp them? Do are they individual? No, no, they you you have to just stamp all the letters and then cut them out. What? <laughs> Why are you trying to you don't work my oh man? I'm an old lady. Don't F with my brain, dude. <laughs> yeah, you're old. <laughs> I'm fixing to be a year older in like two weeks. Uh, I don't believe you were ever born. I think you were just flopped out of the sky and there you I were. I think so too sometimes. That's where the guy Now there he's having his effing revenge on me now for sneaking out. Yeah, see. <laughs> well, they always a lot of times they'll have stamps at Michael's and different things for like they have these little dollar things. I love the eerie one because they have so much more stuff. But yeah, see, they're just you break you break them apart, but yeah, you individually stamp them. Do, 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 do. So you just put oh your hand, it's like a hand. That stamp. way you can yeah. That way you just stamp them. And now there's two more things. Just oh, two more I things. don't think I've ever seen anything like that before. Just, just two more things. Carrie was matched. <laughs> oh, well. Who's Carrie? And as Melissa say, <laughs> Carrie is hat with hat. So. I believe that is it. Car Carrie is her daughter-in-law. I believe, but not, oh. unless, unless I've gone Patuchki. As Ramirez says, she loves the tiny letters. Where did you find them? You found them at Michael's, honey. Yeah, Michael's at the that before you check out. They have like these little bins for like I think they were two dollars. 
There was a bunch of stamps there, but nothing I was really interested in other than those. I've only been to one Michaels, and that was several years ago down in uh, Baxdale, Arizona. Okay, so I got these because I've been drooling for different things. Uh, Patrick you know. says, uh, oh, no, Melissa says, Patrick's wife, my D-I-L, daughter of all you. Great eyes. She's on the grumpy thingy, too. No, duh. He was getting her coffee. The last episode I watched, she went upstairs to get her coffee. So I got this starter technique kit, uh, project technique kit for um, dilutions. What does it do? You know what dilution spray is? Nope. Cranky oh crafters. I'll get it. I'll get it straight. Oh, I'm so sorry. Cranky crappers. Do you crappers. have an AC more? No. He does. I have an AC more. I have an AC more. Well, in Erie, there's AC more, a uh, Hobby Lobby, a uh, Michaels. Um, there's a Tuesday mornings and some other stuff. Tuesday mornings is really expensive. We have a Tuesday mornings in my area, but I'm in the southwest. He's on the So this coast. is this is paint. This is Delusions paint. It's black. And then it's got this little I see how the girls using these. <laughs> they rub their stampy stuff onto the sides of their or something like that. Um, I'm sure they'll all correct me. Which I'm gonna, but with those spray things, I'm gonna, I'm getting some ink tents blocks, and ink tents once it dries is permanent. So I was gonna make some of my own sprays as well, but I have, I have to find out if I should use, if I should use regular water in there or if I should use distilled water. Probably distilled. Melissa says she had an AC more when she's in New York, but not where she's at now. I think she's in the Carolinas now, right? So this is the stuff it comes with. Let's see. It comes with these little card things. It comes with three delusion sprays, a little mister bottle, and two stencils. One's a one's a holy stencil with these dots and different things. The other one is looks like it's a cut out heart. And then of course I think this is the destruction manual because I have the slightest yeah. Because I think, yeah, they you can do, I think it reacts weird with water and different things. So that'll be kind of interesting to see. So I got those ones, and then I got a second set of distressed inks. We got distressed inks, and then I got delusion inks. The distress is like a blue, red, and a green. And this is a purple, pink, and a blue ish teal. Yeah, I've seen those in Hobby Lobby. Yeah. yeah. By the Tim Holtz stuff. Yeah. This is Tim. This is Rangers Tim Holtz. And this is this is a delusion. Delusions is by Diane Rear Rear Rear. But there's like some stuff I've been wanting to. To do these actually work better with your stencils than trying to do ink, you know, do paint. Yep. So I want to try those out and stuff. And I think this is like a little card stock or something of it. So that pretty much is everything I got, I believe. I still can't believe I got that. Found the um that one thing at at you know the the, the stamp block. Yeah, I'm going to have to find a way to get some sleep. I, yeah, I, looked, I, looked down, I looked down and there it was. I'm like, is that a stamp block? I'm like, oh. I'm gonna I, I like the one I have, but it's so big. Did but you I'm find it in the section? One. What section did you find it in? I found those in, I think they were over in the crafting area. I want to. I think can't you get canvas panels over the Dollar Tree or is that? Yeah, Dollar yeah, little little ones and some bigger ones, depending on your Dollar Tree. But yeah, they have canvases and. I wouldn't get the canvases, but the canvas. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, you have to say, every, they're all di every every one of them is different because, like, I've never come across that book you got. The one I sent you. Mm-hmm. Which I've never come across that kind yeah. of book at all. Do you, do you even know where that book is at? Yeah, right here. 
See, she found this book that's originally like almost like thirty bucks on Amazon for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And then I mailed it to him because I know make, he uh, it. to make dolls. I knew he would use it before I would because he knows more about that stuff. Yeah, it was a dollar at the Dollar Tree, and I snagged it. It's like, mm -hmm. and I still, I uh, the one book I love, I got it. And then I sit down. I'm like, I want to do a reverse. I either want to do reverse uh, collage on it or creeple it up. I don't know. I might just send it to Melissa <laughs> and see what she does with it. Because <laughs> I got it as a Dollar Tree. What is it? And I, she might have fun with it. Because I, I just, I every time I pull this out, I sit there and I freeze up, Melissa. So maybe you might be interested in it. Vicky this Ross is what a great haul. This is Underwater Babies. What? Underwater. You remember that I got this a while ago. Well, I'm waiting. Under, to... oh, underwater wow. Babies. It's oh, different yeah. pictures of babies underwater. And I thought it would be good either reverse collage or creepled. I remember now that you took... Yeah, yeah. But every time, I, every time I go to do something with oh, it, I freeze out. Oh, my God. <laughs> I think she's her mind's already going. <laughs> I, I mean, aren't they adorable? But I don't know what to do with them, so I might send them to you, Melissa. I'm sure you'll I'm sure you will go to town on it. Save it for Shark Week, <laughs> as Amir says. Um so Melissa says they did one of those with dogs underwater. Did they? Look, a little mermaid. <laughs> Bootsy says, "Wow, I am jealous of your Dollar Tree. We have a lot of them here, a lot of them, but they are very small." Michaels, Joanne's, and Seymour are our major stores. Oh, and a Blick Art store. Where's that one that I love? There's a couple that I love. Blick Art has some good sales online. I I've never seen one in where I'm at. I only have one store, and that is Hobby Lobby. And we do have a Tuesday morning, but even then it's still pricey. But Hobby Lobby is our truly only place I can get. Like that one right there is just adorable. Isn't she? Those are cute, darling. Mm -hmm. You're right. I think uh, Melissa would have a There's a little there. superhero one. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, so I, I, I'm like, I... Uh, it takes up space where I don't need it to. Um, this is Blick. So that's Brick. a pretty good, I think that was a pretty good haul. Yeah. I mean, granted, most of the stuff I got from uh, Michael's was full price, but I don't get a chance to, to do that very often. A lot of times I'll go through Amazon because I can pay it little by little. But I was like, you know what? I don't get to splurge very often. Amazon doesn't love me that well. And I really didn't. I would say I probably didn't. Between uh, both places, because we all know Dollar Tree can rack up a pretty price once you start throwing this one of this and one of that and one of this. Yes. I would say I maybe spent 150 max. And that's, that's you know, max. Right, and most of it, most of it was Hobby Lobby. You mean Michaels? Yeah, Michaels. <laughs> uh, that's why I gotta avoid. Mermaid. It's a good thing I didn't go to Erie. As your mirror says, is it May Mermaid Month? Save it for that. Your mermaid book. Uh, yeah, we don't have any of the we don't have any the the blicks. Or, we have this one that's that is. I've heard people talk about it, but the one here does not carry anything crafty at all. It's just a bunch of secondhand weird stuff that no one wants to buy. What, I don't what know what it is. This? I can't remember what it's called right now. I have it's it's been a while since I've been there and I haven't heard anybody mention it online in a while. Well, you know, Tuesday morning is where I got my Sizzic embossing machine. I got it there for like twenty bucks. Mm-hmm. But they don't have, they have like one little section that's one row, one one aisle. See, that's the sucky thing is the Tuesday morning that's an Erie 
is like on the other side of Erie from all away from all the other stores that I go to. You have to get on the highway and go down a ways and go up this and go over there just to get to Tuesday mornings. Uh, Bootsy says, I miss the pearl paint art stores. Uh, the one in Manhattan was huge and carried everything. And Melissa said, yes, Roy, they were, uh, there was one on Long Island too. Love that place. Um, I don't even have any idea what that place is. So, so now my problem is, where the hell will I put everything? I don't know, Mijo. I have to go through, I have to, I have to find a better organization for certain things because then I have I end up tearing things out and it's everywhere again and it's gonna you take three days. Everything. I know I just rearranged it. I had got storage stuff and I still this stuff's everywhere. You even had the round thing for your paints to go into. Yes, I have that. I have everything's in it. I have all that stuff, but it's just a lot of this loose paper stuff. But I need I, I wasn't even thinking about it till after I got home. I should have bought some of those book binder things, you know, the for like they use for school to have the plastic things. Right. Then I could put some of the paper stuff and stuff in each of those, and then at least they're kind of organized to pull it out, put it back in. But all the crafters in the world know that. Oh, I did get some beads the other day from Walmart, but I'm not going to pull those out because I took them out of the bags and they're everywhere. Melissa says rent on Long Island is horrible. There is no hope for small craft related stores. Craft related. Craft. Why are you going Long craft? Island is more downsized than closed. It was sad. It's a big thing. Oh, and I did get what I get, I got something. Why I got a technical pen at Walmart the other day too. That's I forgot about that. You got a who? Is it what's it? Technical pen. So it's a it's a pencil. Technical pencil. Okay. The you know the ones that come the nice ones heavier weight and stuff. I I don't know who asked you. I did. I'm just telling you. <laughs> I don't know what technical pin is. What a tentacle. Hold on, you potato head. I'll be right back. Uh oh, he's gonna he kill to me up. now. Walk around. Oh, a mechanical pencil. Is that what you're talking about? Oh, he took the headphones off. He can't hear us now. Dad gun. I know what a mechanical pencil is. What? Are you talking about a mechanical I pencil? I can't hear you. Well, then why are you saying what? My my headset's right here. I can't hear everything you're, you're babbling about. Well, you just freaking answered me, so I think you can. <laughs> this. I it's need a, cookies and milk, says Bootsy. It's a grab... Graphic Gear Premium Mechanical Pencil. It's heavier uh, weight. Oh. See? I break the lids on those things. I'm too heavy-handed. Because you're not supposed to put it out this long. Excuse me? You're only supposed to, to put, out put out a little bit. They're only supposed to put out a little bit. A lot of people don't know that they have an eraser on them. I do. You only do it a little bit. I'm heavy-handed. I'm left-handed. Did, you know, did you know that, that they have an eraser? Yes, but this came with with refillable things and and, and refillable erasers. Uh, Melissa says she just got some tea and now she's laughing. I think she's I don't know who she's laughing at, but she's laughing. She's laughing at you, potato head. Everybody's a potato head. For a while there, I used to put a potato when I do my videos to see if anybody would notice it because of you. See, <laughs> you remember that? Yeah. I still got to talk with Mary. She was supposed to make me a potato stamp. So that would be like my when I sent Happy Mail and stuff out. I would stamp it with a potato. Oh, that would be sweet. Because I don't, I, I'm not, I, I'm I, not a stamp maker, and nor do I want to try to do carving in it. Oh, Melissa thing. wants to know. She said, "Well, I'm not wants to know." She says, "Laughing at the length of her pencil lead." <laughs> well, you know, Faith likes some. Faith thinks they got to be long, otherwise. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now look, you're trying to kill her. You're trying to kill her now. Okay. Y'all, if y'all don't know, I'm on oxygen 24-7. So fun things. She's also on marijuana. I can tell it. I do not. 
But when I laugh, it kind of takes it out of me. I don't like that this is a sticker. It goes around that. That's okay. Well, it's everybody needs a good laugh. What are you peeling? Oh, you're playing with the bees. I just look at them. You see, they're pretty bees, little bees, yes. though. I could, I could, I could, if I wanted to, I could pull out my, I still have my uh, original from back in the day when I was a kid, my Indian bead loom. I don't, yeah, but you'd have to. That's pretty. They'd also make good a, Designs on, like, you know, a dress that you'd paint with or something. What? Crafty Kitty says hello. I would have to do what to make it? You know, you could always do something for embellishment. Oh, yeah. Well, there's this one. I kind of like those ones. Did you hear me say Crafty Kitty was here? Yes. Okay. Hello, Crafty Kitty. I'm pretty much done showing my haul, but I'm play we're playing around and chit chatting, so you know how that goes. <laughs> um, Seventy. Uh, Melissa says hi, Joy. Crafty says hi, Melissa. She said he's going to make a teepee out of those beads. A what? Melissa says you're going to make a teepee out of those beads. I'm going to give her a teepee out of these beads. Boosie says I have my mother's bead loom that she used in the late 1930s. Well, that's amazing. Loom work is almost a lost art. I live close to the Navajo Reservation. They do some beautiful work. Yeah, they ate. You never know. These are called ready stamps. I don't know what the wet. They have a stamp, step one, step two, or step three. Oh, they had, that's right, they had a uh, ink too. Oh. But yeah, I, well, the my, mine's just one of those little tiny weird looms. It's like this big, and it's got two wood red blocks down here, and like a weird, uh, what is it? Those like two spring was wrapped around a piece of metal. I used to make all kinds of friendship bracelets and stuff when I was a child. That was just a few years ago. <laughs> In your dreams. <laughs> But this illusion thing is really cool, I think, because it's got that little thing you keep things in it and stuff. And... It's different. I like that, it. I want, I want to look for that. What's that called? I'm going to look for that. This is the Delusions Creative Journal. Um, Crafty Kitty says, I know Dollar Tree stuff when I see it. Yeah, he did a nice Dollar Tree haul. Okay, I'm going to go to Amazon and see what this book's called. It's the delusions, whatever. Delusions, whatever. I'm sure that ain't gonna work. Delusions Creative <laughs> Journal. Okay, hold on, my computer's good. But yeah, I thought that was cool. And then I'm always doing things with my watercolors and my um mermaid markers where I put them out on the thing. It'll just be easier to put them in these little things as when I'm using them. You can never go wrong with those. I still, I still, this is the New York's bestseller, so there can't be anything wrong with this book. You just have to learn to embrace it. This is really. I don't have to embrace crap when it comes to those kind of books. Those things screw like, see, me up. You know that. Right, right here, you write a fan letter. No. Mix, mix a, make a mixtape for someone who doesn't know you. And you no. just write down different. Yes, you do. It's fun. It's exciting. It gives you things. Thanks to blank for who taught me blank. No. The here, see, I would I would post paste pictures of of your heroes. Turn to this page when you feel lost or um, lonely. In the frames good. provided. Stack oh, books. Heroes. See, fill in the speech bubbles. Face. Oh my God! It's Mark says, "Where's my Where's my record journal?" Face says, "I stole. I stole away. I I'm gonna cry it. now. It's okay. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm like more. Right. So, yes, I got you. We uh, and it was my idea for us to do that collab that day. And after <laughs> I did it, I, I had such panic attacks. I threw the sucker away. I couldn't do it. No more. She's just afraid. 
So well, it wouldn't. It didn't help that she got when she bought her her Rexus journal. She bought it from um, Barnes and Noble. Barnes and Noble for like ninety two cents or something. Yeah, I and mean, it was used. Oh partly. my god! It had teeth mark in it. <laughs> oh my god! And they want me to bite pages. I'm like, are you insane? And then she's like, well, you want me to do much of this thing? I just bought it. I said, it's called you a drag it through the journal. mud. I'm like, what is wrong with these people? No, uh, uh no. <laughs> Smear food on the note. Can't do that. So, if anybody would like to go over to Faith's channel, do not find her happy mail address and send her a reckless journal. No, you know I will have to. I will have to go to my shrink and get freaking antidepressants for that stuff. I'll have a panic attack. See, well, this yeah. is my little. This is my little reckless that I still haven't done a lot in it that I need to be. I haven't really. I, I haven't done a lot. I haven't licked anything. I think I've ripped pages out. And I don't know where the one is that we bought for the for the live. So that'll be fun trying to find. You know what sucks is we put things up to make everything organized and then we can't find anything. I know. I can't. Well, it's uh, when you dig through everything and it all comes I have to out organize on a daily freaking basis, it seems like. But, Melissa, I actually, because I had a, a, I had the, get away from my art table and sit in the recliner the other day and cut but i can i think i can get enough stuff to make a cripple oh and yeah I, and i think yeah. i'm gonna do it in in our altered book you've made her you've made her into a creeple are well, you happy with I only, are you happy with yourself Melissa? are you happy <laughs> <laughs> i only had one magazine that i could pull from for creeple stuff but I, I did find, you know, a, a, a body and then I found a freaking head that's like weird. I don't know. I'm going to try it. It's out of my comfort zone, but I am going to try it. See, it's out of my comfort zone and I'm trying. Lick you think it. of me being an abstract artist, I'd be more adventurous than I am. Well, this is like me. Like I was talking later today. I'm like, originally I was just an acrylic artist who did paintings and occasionally did some drawings and stuff. And that was it. And then I've kind of got introduced to mixed media and it's a really good way to get some creativity out without having to spend seven hours, 10 hours, whatever, painting. I mean, you still might spend 50 hours rolling pieces of paper and sticking them to a canvas that comes out gorgeous. Hey, Melissa. But... <laughs> I know. She said, I'm delighted 652 years ago. Where have you been? Because I just saw it. Oh. I'm just getting my wind back from the little laughing at me. <laughs> that, that took me down. I was like, oh, my God. Yeah, this is made from Bird's Studio, the little acrylic block. I tried to make le uh, petals out of tubes, that, you know, like the triangles you said, Melissa, didn't work. I, I couldn't get it to work. I don't know how to do it. Because <laughs> she doesn't <laughs> listen. No, she didn't. She was in the middle of her own live doing other things. And they got to talking about the center of the flower I did the other uh, night. But I was asking, you know, what I should do next. And they were talking about petals and making them out of triangles with those tubes. And I just destroyed about. 10 tubes today so i said screw it went to bed <laughs> well, well you, you gotta play you gotta play first it depends on the, the tubes i think they're awesome you do have to remember that they're they're gonna they're gonna fight you a little bit because they're so thick yeah that's what it was was fighting me she and, said she's gonna try triangles on friday yeah. night. oh gosh triangles she's gonna do a triangle she's gonna do pyramids Make sure y'all remind me so I don't miss your show. I'm not reminding you of nothing. I'm going to be have to. I have to work Friday night, so she shouldn't have her show until I'm off on Sunday. Well, all you got to do is <laughs> she's on Goober. I don't know if the YouTube notifications like I should, and then my bells are clicked. Then I got to figure out how to use this thing and that thing. And 
Oh, is this Velcro on there so you can clean it? Oh, okay. You must be able to buy more of them too. Well, I'm waiting for it to show. These little them. sponges. Inspired by art by Mary, it says hello, Mark, and hi everybody. Hi, Mary. Oh yeah, so you must. Yeah, yeah, I've seen little. Yeah, I've seen little round things. Yeah, they use them to like go around the sides of things and stuff. I think Melissa uses them. Yeah, I have to have a whole tutorial on how to help use these things. But I was like, I'm, I really wanted to try the sprays out and stuff. I went through when she was on her live last Friday night. I went through her description and added everything that she had on there to my wish list on Amazon. Oh gosh, you don't want to go into <laughs> Melissa's wish list. Uh, no, I went. I, she had her, she had posted everything that she uses to well, do. Well, if her, you order them, if you order them, you have to go order them through her page. Otherwise, she doesn't get her uh, thing for it. Oh, she's got hers are set up just like uh, it's like a store, Shay, like Shay. You know how Shay has her like she'll do yeah, a yeah, link yeah, yeah, yeah. to Amazon thing, and then she gets points or whatever, however you get, however that goes for somebody ordering through your link. Yeah, it's an affiliate link. Yeah, affiliate. That's it. Look, this is is your swipe file. Oh, look, there's a little file. The whole thing's in there. What? Oh, oh my god, for... a place to keep scraps of stuff you, you've stolen. <gasps> ah, I love it. I'll steal lots of stuff now. Oh good. Is god. it bad that this, is it bad that this 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 book is promoting theft? Huh. Well, see I know something worth that. see something worth stealing? Put it in your swipe file. Need something inspirational? Open up the swipe file. <laughs> Uh, as Jamira says, she's laughing her ass off. Um, Melissa says that book is hilarious. Oh, well, these books are fun. And so, well, same with the other one I have. So the the rectus are more interesting because, like, it'll have you do things like drag it, tie a string to it, and drag it through the mud. That's mortifying. Um, that, for me, is absolutely <laughs> mortifying. You know that, Mark. <laughs> Mark, that stuff's just not funny to me, man. It freaks me, the, it freaks me out. You laugh all you want, old man. Just go ahead and keep it up. <laughs> it's just a book. It's, it's just not the point. I just, it's just, you're <laughs> <laughs> dragging something through the mud. <clears throat> and then they have, like, um, of course, there's the one that's bite this page. Like this oh, page. Just, no, see, Take something you sticky and stick it on this page. Uh, you did, you Rip did. this page out of the book and throw it away. You know the feeling people get when they run fingernails down chalkboards, that horrible feeling? i That's how I feel every time you discuss that freaking Rick the Journal thing. It's awesome. No, gonna, no. Wait till you get 50 of them, you're saying. No, I nobody but nobody, please, no one send me that. I Everybody, just no. I, I'm gonna put start putting a link in my file in my in my, no. in my lives. To <laughs> Absolutely not. Look, this is the perfect page for you. Write down everything you're afraid of, Faith. First there's thing, not enough, there's not first enough thing you put is wreck this journal. <laughs> yeah, there's not enough pages on there to write down my fears. What's that say? I can't read it. Yeah, this will be an interesting book to write down everything you are what? Where? Um, I don't know. Write down everything you are afraid of. Let's, we just did inspired that. Inspired by inspired art by Mary says I don't have one set up yet. Yeah, I have a I have an Amazon wish list. Without any help, translate a paragraph from a language you don't speak. Try to be as accurate as you can. Well, if you don't speak it, how are you going to be accurate about any of it without using Google? It'd have to be Spanish because I can kind of figure some of that out. Climb up your own creative family tree. I am a... I'm influenced by who it was I influenced by. Interesting. I wasn't influenced by anybody but my beautiful self. No. Yeah, I don't, my grandma is the only one that's artsy crafty and she does oil paintings. Well, this one sounds fun. This would be great for your practice for you. 
make a collage from items in your wastebasket. Oh my God, no. It's in the trash for a reason. Optional. Optional. You'll love this one. Optional. Steal scraps from someone else's wastebasket. No, no. <laughs> Uh, Melissa says it didn't say you could not use the Googles. Okay, there you go. Azumir says my whole family is treated. That is amazing. That's awesome. Uh, she says that uh, Melissa says that would be fun. She needs one of them daggum books, is what she needs. Since she seems to like it. <laughs> well, I hadn't seen this one before until I come across it. They have they actually have some interesting books. I keep I look at the coloring books all the time, and I really want to grab them. But then I sit there and I open a coloring book and I go, huh? So it's one of those, there's no sense of me. I'm, I'm just not a color. Like, I have my few coloring books that I'll occasionally play with. I wish they made the ones I have. I have these ones that I've had forever that I've stuff to go through. And, and I'd, I think of, I've been thinking about scanning them and printing the pages out, which is the Precious Moment ones. I have a oh, lot yeah. of these. I remember that from my youth. See, that's how I color them. I really color the crap out of them when I'm, you know, nice and, but, you know, it's that old paper and I, I'm like, I'd like to maybe just scan them try in. To scan, yeah, scan them. Scan them in. Because the precious moments are just, they're adorable. I like the color books for res prints, as Mer says. There are some other girls that I liked when I was a kid that had the big sad eyes. That was, I think that was just the Raggedy Ann, maybe? Oh. They weren't Raggedy Ann's. Their heads kind of looked like those that got colored, but they were See, like, girls. But they had the big sad eyes. So I'll, I'll add uh, shading to them and stuff. I used to have one that was like almost completely colored in from when I was younger. And I had a friend that wanted to use them to paint, to to get your copy. To she was going to paint precious moments in her daughter's room, and I went to go get them, and she had let her daughter scribble over all my stuff. Oh and no! Didn't, and, and what didn't think that that was a problem? I remember you. Talk, Melissa says I'm a rebel and can't color someone else's drawings. As Amir says, they were the big eye dolls. Um. Melissa says, let them finish their own work. As we said, big eye paintings. I'll have to look because I remember really liking them as a kid. A little flashback you're here. Sure, well, but your age would be probably been a bit Betty Boop. <laughs> no, I don't really remember Betty Boop from back then. Dude, I'm only going to be 56 in like two weeks. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not that freaking ancient yet. Mm -hmm. I think Betty Boop is from the freaking booties. See, like, I got this one and it drives me nuts. This is a tattoo one. And what makes me, annoys me is they've decided to go through and put blue in everything. And then, of course, this double-sided stuff, too. But I don't want, why do I, I want this blue on everything. Oh, look at her. Hey, yeah. can you use your pantas scales for those? I mean, I, the what? work that, that Dee Dee's Dee been doing with hers is like wow. On her, I, don't know, I just I look at them and I go like, uh, and then I don't, I don't know. I have, I have trouble getting into some of this stuff. It's a great book to look at. Really great book to look at, but I just, I don't know why they decided to put blue and specific things all the way through. Now this is just turning into a show and tell. <laughs> oh, this is my... got it. Now the movie, is that where the husband tries to steal the woman's artwork and proclaim it as his own? The lady that did the big eyes, big eye dolls? I think that's... Well, why does this one, this is it's not like... To focus. But see, these were the zombie one, the zombie coloring book I got. You love zombies. Huh? I said you love zombies. I have a, this is a zombie coloring book. I haven't got all the way through it yet. I've just done one. 
He's very nice, Mark. I have that one, and then I have a zombie mandala. Mandolin? Mandala? Yeah, so I used to be into zombies a lot. If anybody watches any of the Sherpa stuff from about what, two and a half years oh, ago. Oh, that's so. when, I, when I met you. It really yeah, was, I was, a lot of them called me, a lot of people called me Zombie Mark. Yeah. She actually did a zombie painting for me for my birthday. Oh, awesome. She did, well, you know, she did a live zombie painting for me for my birthday. It was Mark something. She actually painted one of, a couple of my photographs. I put and paint my photo and stuff too. Awesome. I just haven't been there in a very long time. I'm always so busy. I miss half her lives. There's no one there that I know anymore. I know. So this is that. that mandala one. I still get to chat with her once in a while when she gets time to come up rare. She'll send me a message now and then, and we'll chat for a few minutes. Oh, that was the other thing. Did you know? I don't know if anybody else knows this. I learned this from reading something. These, that's another reason I got the things, but the um, gel gelatos. Yeah. You take your gelato, you can you roll it out, you cut some of it off, you add a little bit of water, mix it together, make it a paste. Then you put it in one of those spray bottles, add more water and shake it, and then you've made yourself a spray. Huh. I have gelatos, but they were given to me as happy mail from uh, cinnamon. Cinnamon mm -hmm. to me when I started chemo that time. Mm -hmm. I like them. Mine are the pastels. Oh my gosh! You know, I always thought they were supposed to be kind of a cheap thing. They ain't cheap. No, they're not. I cheap. do have. I have some gel, water soluble gel, uh, crayons coming from Art Something. They should be coming next week, I think. That I can't wait to try it out. I think I should be able to do the same thing with those as I can do with these. Uh, yeah, I have a few things on back order. Wow, how much did you pay for that delusion? That book, that delusions book. The delusions book? Yeah. I don't know. Probably there, 20, 20 there, something bucks. So they're between fourteen. And nineteen dollars. Yeah, that's not bad. That's, I mean, for uh, that's not bad. I paid probably fourteen to fifteen for these, which are which are the other really good, um, your other alternate turn it turn priority. Ink tents blocks. I have never tried those. Some that's what I'm getting. I'm I'm ordering the ink tent tents blocks. I'm ordering the I'm ordering today. them. Mark, you have to tell me if they're going to be worth me even investing in. Uh, well, they're they're they are water soluble, and they, I believe, from what I understood, they once they dry, they are permanent. Well, after you try them, let me know. I have the I have the I have the ink tents, color pencils, watercolor pencils. I love them. But this right here is the uh, visual journal. This was Bristow. I didn't I didn't care for the Bristow as much. But I only paid like 12 or 13 bucks for it. So these are good alternatives. I've only done one page in it. This was my this was my page I did for uh, one of my lessons in my um, life book. Oh, how's that which, going along? Uh, I haven't been there in a while. But that's the thing about Lifebook is it's there to you use it as you well, need to. I remember to. when you did this page. Yeah. But like this is, it was, it wasn't what I was thinking. I do have a 400 pound uh, media one that I love, that the, the pages are wonderful. That was the first ones I used. But I was trying to get one book that was just going to be for Lifebook. But we all know how that goes. It doesn't always work. But these are a good alternative as well. The, the, the you want to get the 400, 400 press? See, this is only 100 pound. I, I probably wasn't paying attention when I ordered it because I thought it was going to be a little thicker, which it is thick, but 
It's like a poster board thickness. Oh my gosh, they have got a, a you know that that journal that you bought. They've got a bundle which includes stencils and inks and palettes and gesso. It's like two hundred and seventy nine dollars. Mm -hmm. Like oh yeah. my god. Yeah, they well the I, the life. The thing is, is I would have more time with Lifebook. The, when I originally signed up for Lifebook, I really thought I was going to have more time because I was only supposed to be working three days a week. Well, four <laughs> day, I've been working four days a week, and it just seems like it takes me a whole day and a half after being on third shift to, ke to, to kick in because there's, when I'm home, I'm trying to do things. And... Then you got I me, mean, and those classes can take a little while. So it's like, well, what do I want to do? When do I want to do it? There's a couple I really want to do, but I also have stuff I haven't finished from my uh, ever after. But you know, at least it's there for me to play with when I get there. I just wish the I wish the classes were a little easier to get to, and all that fun stuff. Um, Azure asked, "What's 400 GSM look like on the cover?" 400 what? You said 400 pound or something. 400 like pound. That. I think it was 400 pound. Um, looks like the same thing. The covers look almost the same. It just says mixed media, I believe. Azure says, I have the 36 set of pencils, but man, I really want the blocks. In the the blocks. The bl blocks. You can. What is it? She said, See, I only lasted a few weeks on my life book. Um, the blocks you can get the 12 count blocks for 11.99 you have to drop a link dude I don't have to do nothing dude Azure says the book no not the book the ink the intense block but the book let me see what the book is. Because it should be in my... Well, when I can, I'm going to try the pan pastels, but they're just very expensive. Yeah, they are. They're, they're not, they're, you know, but they are, if you like it, you, you'll you love them. You I like me, mine. I don't have used mine all remember. the time. You I haven't used them a lot, but you, you know how I am. I'm all over the damn place. Right. Yeah, you told me I'd love it, though. Yeah, you'll love them. They're very creamy because you like to use pastels. You're very, you know, you you you're very good, you know, well on that stuff. So, say again. Uh, where is it? You're you're very. You are you love to play with that stuff. You like you you you. I'm not a big pastel person. Do you know what I'm saying? Right. Well, you did a wonderful job with them. Uh, well, the pants. I, I like the pants. I do. I do. I do like the pants. Um, I like. I have. I got those pastels from the last box, and I haven't used them yet. Trying to figure out which place. I, how long ago I ordered the? the hold on. I need to get a hole punch that does it. That that two point five. You know, for the coins. Because me cutting them, you know, just they don't stay perfectly round. They kind of jagged. Yeah, you get the they, you just get one of those circle punches, and some of them are a pain. I believe you, if you get a circle punch, you want to get the one that presses down, not the one that you have to squeeze with your hands. Oh, the right. little metal flappy one. Right, ladies. Right, ladies. Uh, Azure says, "I want the purples in the big set of blocks, only the seventy-two oh. them. And Melissa says she has a 12 count in ink tents. So if I get a hole punch for these artist coins, do I get the one that I grip with my hand or that I smoosh down? There's some you can actually see to make sure you're completely lined up. You're not doing it blind. Sorry, sorry what? I was reading. No, you're fine. The only ones I think I only ones I think Hobby Lobby have are the where you're blind. Oh, the, <laughs> but the, I, the Hobby Lobby has the squish. They actually had them on sale not that long ago, like well, last that, month. Well, that doesn't do me a dad gum bit of good now. Um, I think it's the uh, 
so I think it's a Strathmore 500 series visual mixed media art art journal. Um, I think that was the one I have. Don't get the Michael's easy punch. It sucks. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they they say that it's there's certain some of the punches they say are great and some that are just horrible. This one has one at Hobby Lobby. And it's like I think twenty bucks or something, or almost twenty bucks. <laughs> yeah, like here's the here's the Strathmore the, the, the their heavyweight one. It's like seventeen dollars that I got. I think that's a ninety pound one though. That's not the one I have. The one I have is really heavyweight. It's really thick, and it's in the other room, so I can't tell you for sure. I'll let you, I'll I'll message you later on. Is there about what what one that is? But I, I mean, I like, I even like the, just the, I do a lot of stuff in the, um, is it the Canson ones? Yeah. A lot of my journal things, I have to do a journal flip through. I haven't done that in a while. I have to do one of those. Sometime. I have the Hobby Lobby phone app, but can you, I don't think, can you, can you use the coupon if you order? I mean, if I can fit. Some there. of them you can. Yeah. Some of them you can. Yeah. Because I use that forty percent all the time when I go to Hobby Lobby. Do you ever, do you ever see my Miss my Miss Piggy? But my breathing sometimes it just they don't have one of those right around scooters in there. I have to walk it, and it just kicks my. Mm -hmm. I use the well, I use the forty percent coupon today at Michaels. I don't know what thing it gave me a forty percent off of. I thought it was supposed to give you forty percent off your most expensive thing, but I don't think it did. Did you ever see these ones? Your, your, no, I have not seen your Miss Piggy before. What you see my Miss Piggy? Mm -hmm. Um, Michelle, what, she's, uh, she loves it. Oh, I've seen her. It's all tangled. Not supposed to be hanging down like that. You're supposed to be back there. All wrapped around yourself so that you don't move. Look at that. Thank you. This one's upside down. It was just a she silhouette. Said, I love your art. Isn't he an amazing artist? He is just amazing. See, this is this is like how some of my art starts off. I'll just, just paint that I'd left over that I threw on threw in the background and then I make something out of it. The girl with the leaves blown in the wind. She was just piddling around, I think. I don't think I have much else in this one. I have a pretty background. That's nice. See, I have a lot of pretty backgrounds. I just have to put things on top of them. Well, these ones, I, I wish I hadn't done anything in this book. This is this art, you know, a sketchbook thing, and I'd done some stuff. That was a cinnamon one. But I added to it and put little flowers on. And this was for Veterans Day, was it? Or, you no, know, what is the one where they do poppies and stuff? I think I remember that one. Yeah, I have a video for this one. And that was the Craze Girl. Oh, wow. these stuff. This has a hidden elephant in it. <laughs> um, trip of ballerina things. And I think this was a tutorial from the Frugal Crafter. This was an art game. It was there was angel. I think it was something swirl. Um, rhinoceros, lake, some other things. This was my zombified girl, whatever it was, Monet something or whatever. That's my funky lady. Mm -hmm. 
My funky lady. My cute little. Well, guess what's swelling again, so I'm going to have to. Uh-oh, it's from sitting too much. Uh -huh. We have your doctor tomorrow, right? Tomorrow four. This was my horse of a different color from the Wizards of Oz collab. It's a crazy girl thing. This is another um, art game. I really like the way it had come out. So that was just a doodle. This was off of this was my water lilies that I had taken the photo of, and then I drew them. It's watercolor oh, and color pencil. Artist. Hey, what what paintings are you going to send to the gallery? I don't know. Then I have this one. I, I there's just the two whales right now that are going, and then I'm supposed to show her some other stuff. Is she wanting them? Um, yeah, I miss art game too. We're gonna. I think we're gonna try to do a live art game sometime. Not affiliated with the original art game because it's that thing has gotten so. Cray, cray. It's nice just to get together, not be live, get in a hangout with five, six people, and just play. These are my three little witch sisters. Another art game thing. This was pastels. Not pastel chalks. Yeah, chalks or whatever they are. This was a cinnamon thing. This was a play around. This was a tutorial from um, Teresa Sims. Sassy pants. Sassy. This was, we were doing, I think it was some kind of thing. You had to draw something dead alive or something. So this was Jack Skellington. Oh, look at that. Yeah, this was a Halloween one. So many days of Halloween a couple of years ago, and I don't think I ever finished it. I enjoyed that collab of yours that we did with Jack and all of them. I finished that. Of course, that. I had that almost a year before you actually went through your live. And that's it for that thing. <laughs> yeah, I. I'm one you definitely don't want to tell you're doing a collab. <laughs> No, don't do a collab with her unless you're really going to do the collab like the next day. Not the next day, but you know. It, it, mm -hmm. She's before you're even off the thing. She's already got her stuff started, and then she's like, "Are we done yet? Are we ready? Are we started? What's going on? What's going on?" <laughs> hey, when I do my collabs, I give everybody two months to get their stuff done. Two months. That's long enough for people to get their stuff done. I can't help. Well, you can, you can come in and see. She'd be good to go to do some of your stuff, Melissa, because she's always on her stuff. She don't. She has her stuff out before she's assigned it. Even. What are you talking about? She does the monthly swaps. Yeah. I don't understand well, what that is. Blocker mail. You just send different things. Like, like, like the birdies. I don't understand. Like what? Clarify. Enlighten me. Um, different. You send different things to each people, and you do it, in, and then you put them in that book, in your in your flocker book. I showed you the book. No, I haven't seen a flocker book. What are you talking about? This is my flocker book that I won. That the awesome. She made me a potato, a, a potato chicken, the creeple, creeple chicken potato. So I won that. I won that. Oh, so she drew that in the back of my thing. Okay. But she just used a one of those composition books, and then you. I have my cover. I remember you doing the cover. And like this was stuff that was sent to me from Lisa that I I put in and made a page spread, and then this was sent to me from Veronica. Different things and. Have a nice little letter in there from her and everything. And then I just got. I have my next two pages because I, I I have both of my this this last month's things. I just haven't sat down and done done them in a page in a, in my book yet. 
So I'll be adding those soon. And then the I never under, even understood what the painty paper things were. You use them for different things. You've watched me use painty papers left and right. You use it for all kinds of stuff. That's my Rapunzel. I'm going to revise my Rapunzel I did for the Big Eye Girls collab. See, she just told you what, what, what they are. I'm reading them right now. You <laughs> send an envelope of scraps and things to your partner and then make a page in your journal from what they send you. Now, this is my tribute okay. to, I don't know if, I don't know anybody in the chat if they knew Ka Callie Black or not, but that was my tribute to Callie. Which one? The picture of Callie. Well, your YouTube thing is just like different than work. We discussed no. this. Remember when I say something, you just go, oh yeah, I remember that. You know, just, so your voice isn't lagging? <laughs> That's pretty. <laughs> This was just another one of those. I think I used plastic and went. Ch -ch -ch. I miss her. She was yeah. a lady. She was awesome. She was. Big heart. Mm -hmm. Free spirit. I wonder if her channel's still up. I'll have to check. And that was just some play. Where's that one? There's my snow globe I did. This is, we did, last year we were slackers, but the year before that we did a whole Instagram. Oh, that's 25, right. 25 days of Christmas, and these were some of the things from it. I remember that. Uh -huh. well, you better remember it. You're part of it. I know. Azure says it's still up good. I'm going to have to go through there. I want to make a wand, and I, I wanted to use Cal. This, this was my failed attempt at that string art. I loved mine. I loved doing the string I, didn't, uh, I sucked at it. It was not my thing. Oh, I had some really nice pictures come out. This was, I think, were you in this one? Who was in this one? Were you Were you part of this one? What? This, uh, this was art game. No. I don't know. Let me see. I'm waiting for it to catch up. Yes. Yeah, it was, I, thought, I was feeling like you yeah, were a part of that was, one. Mine didn't come out as nice as yours because I didn't understand what the art game was. You understand, I'm not used to, you know, all that stuff. I'm used to being a solo type person. Learning how to do things is with the group. <laughs> You're learning? I try. Mm -hmm. As long as I can control some of my own destiny, I'm good. <laughs> and then there's my temple with trees. Christmas trees. You know, when a person gets sick, they kind of become a control freak of other things and they can't control their thoughts. It's just a one. This, I, was, this was one of my favorite art games. I it was something about I love him. He came out so cute. He is cute. He's such a creeple just himself. I was not in that art game. I don't know what that wasn't what I was in. Mm-mm. I think we've only done a couple with you. Two. I've only done two. I tried really? doing one a long time ago, but the person was like being really mean about everything, so I did not have a good time. Where's so my one girl? This is another winter one. Where is my girl? This I've never finished her. I have to finish her someday. I don't know how well you can see her. Have to go. This is the beginning of my Mer Kitty that was originally for, for Shay. Art game is okay. So this was this was a attempt we're here of my Rapunzel. Art game is kind of like the like you know, pick twelves or whatever people play, but like you do things like you just everybody says a word. Or whatever, like you say, dragon. Like, let me see. What was that? Was there art game in this one? The art game was another thing. Anyways, like you would do, like, like this. This was an art game. Okay. Was this an art game? Let me look. 
No, this wasn't an art game. But say if this was an art game, we were playing, you know, sometimes they're themed, sometimes they're just random. Say we were playing a Christmas-themed one, I'd say something like Nutcracker, and you could say something like uh, Fireplace or Coco or Boots. So you would do that kind of, like, each person does it, and you can either, you can make it into a picture, or you can just draw each individual item or whatever they're talking about. It's 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 quite You don't show you all the words at once. Yeah, you don't show anybody your work until you're all done. And the words aren't said all at one time either. Yeah, no. You know, it's like so, you say one so you one. never know. You could be, oh. like, going to town, all of a sudden somebody's like, draw a potato. And like, okay, now I gotta draw a potato. This is my Beauty and the Beast that I haven't finished yet because the Beast is still driving me nuts. I haven't figured out how I want to do him. I can't draw either, Melissa. You don't have to be able to draw oh, this one. This is Shay is supposed to buy this for me, but she hasn't yet. Yeah, you know, it's not, okay, art game is not about your drawing uh, abilities. It's about pushing yourself and just stepping outside of your box. Like, the one thing I wanted to do the one time with art game was, I think it'd be fun to try to do the stuff using the words, but I, uh, mm -mm. I'm not good at that. Oh, then there's this one too. I was I haven't done anything with her coloring yet, but oh, I remember that picture. Mm -hmm. Honey, my leg is really beginning to swell. I'm gonna have to, or actually, it's my foot, but you know that my whatever that is is starting to swell really big. Yeah. yeah. To... You're probably sitting and you're probably pinching something. That's what you're is what's going. On. You need to make sure you get, you get addressed tomorrow. It will be addressed tomorrow. That was my, my attempt at realistic art eyes. My appointment's not till four, though. She well, says that kind of chums makes her lock up and panic. Oh, those are pretty, Mark. Pretty eyes. That's it in that one. This is my first one. Yes, this was my first when I got back into arting, I believe. Is it this one or this one? Oh, here's the. This is the Reckless Journal water, 140 pound watercolor one. Its paper is thick. These are some of the frugal crafter lessons I tried. Somebody else's lesson I tried. Sherpa's wolf thing. This was for some kind of prompt. My snowman. Isn't he cute? I should make it. That would make a really good greeting card, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. Why don't you make him into Vista? You could, you could scan him in. And, and then my little my little gingerbread family. Yeah. Remember that one? And this, some of these were from our prompt thing. We had Angel. That's it for that one, too. I think this was my first art journal when I went back to doing art because I had kind of walked away from it for a year. Wow, you have so much talent. He does. Thank you. This he is really my abstract is. face. Ass crack? What? Yeah, abstract. Ass crack. Ass abstract. This were a lot of these were from 29 Faces. Oh, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I want to hold I think yeah, these were Halloween. So this is my second journal, actually, now that I'm thinking of it. That was my, my version of seven. We lost you, Mark. Stranger, stranger Things. Am I here still? Oh, there no? you came back. But that was my seven from Stranger Things. Oh, uh, remember that? Yeah, our collab that we did. Where did you? You did the monster thingy, didn't you? What monster thing? For your collab, for your part of the collab that we I had. 
for sure your thing. You did the. Oh yeah, that was I sent you yeah, in the. You know. And season three is coming out. You showed me that very soon. Okay, loves my lay. My I got to I've got to take heed to the swelling that's happening. So no I have to go. I love all y'all. Mark, thanks for. Love Thank ya. you for having me on, babe. This one was from Hall Halloween one. It was a heavy split face or something, so I did this kind of zombie nun meets werewolf priest. And some more. And then this this one was hilarious because it was uh something with a mask or whatever so i took that chewbacca mask and i stuck it on, on octopus i thought it was funny mothman This one was like the fog or something like that. Punchback. That was just a weird abstract face. Some doodle ideas, another eye. Another Christmas tree thing. Another cute snowman. The doggy, my bo oogie boogie, some more abstracty things. Uh, my Snoopy and his thing. This was for a collab. It was for Faith for Thanksgiving. Here's my Thanksgiving turkey. My cardinal. That was for Friday the 13th. This was based off a photo I took. I used roses and rose petals. and It was fun. Another abstracted girl. If she wants to focus. Here we go. A little Santa lady, snowman. Beginning of an eyeball. Another one of my 29 faces. This was my first when I started back in. My little titty sleeping on a fence. That's my, that's my zombie mermaid. A zombie girl with an umbrella. My zombie owl. <laughs> so you can see I've kind of come a long way right, from when I first started back to doing art. This I have a video on of this owl. It's one of my first videos, I think. Like this one makes me mad because it's all messed up. Because I forgot that I was using the graphite I was using. 
would you got to spray it with uh, with uh what is it worker to fix it or something so that it doesn't do that you know how that goes it happens sometimes this was my original rapunzel idea like let me see if i can get it to focus correctly Where she had, you know, she let, she says, "Let down your hair." They said, so she's got stuff stuck all in it. My crazy little owl. Another watercolor thing. This is my crazy Joker. My big eyed girl. I think I have a video on her, maybe. More 29 faces. That's another 29 faces. This is my first art game I did, I think. Another 29 faces. Eyeballs. I like eyeballs. Oh, this was hilarious. This was a cupcake I did that was dedicated to Ginger Cook. During one of Sherpa's lives, Ginger dropped a nice, cu nice expensive cupcake into the fluorescent paint. And she was going to eat it. <laughs> she was just going to take it off. And then they put sprinkles on it. So, and I, so I made that for Ginger. This was from an art game. I believe the words was tree, crow, wall, uh, fence or wall, umbrella, crick. Maybe autumn. Let's see, let me see if I can get it to focus. Focus. So that was a fun one. A couple haired girl. This was all done with gel pens. You can't see it very well. It's all right. I think that's well. Did we look at this one already? No. What was a haul has turned into a flip through. Oh, well. Did that one. The background was already done, and then I decided to put her over it. This was one of my very first um, art games. And I, uh, one of the things was licking, and I put, I, I didn't mean to. <laughs> So we'll just leave it at that. This was another art game. I just kind of, it was like laying collage down over of different things. This was in 2016, Easter. It's my mermaid. Green horse. This was an art game too. This was a this is Christmas, I think of 2016. This was going to be a painting idea of, uh, for for for. Uh, I think it was Valentine's or something. It was going to be a zombie couple sitting. <laughs> You know, on a thing, but that never happened. That was just some weird girl I did. I don't don't ask me what she was doing there. This was another art game. Come on, focus. I think I played. I think Cinnamon was involved in that one. I'm not sure. Started her. Haven't finished her.
these are for some tutorials on uh, YouTube. So I was trying to learn a few things. Another one of my birdies, but I love her. I was so mad because, okay, I was drawing one night and then I went to go to sleep and I laid this up on top of something and it was on top of something that was wet and I didn't realize it was wet and it soaked through stuff. But I still love her because she reminds me of bubblegum. And then she had gotten really messed up. You could see where she transferred over to the back of that. But I kind of went in and resaved her. She was my cute little clown. If you can see, this is how bad. You can even see where it was sitting on a cup or something. And it just wicked out. Oh, I was so mad. Another art game. Love this one. It's just like kind of a crazy little. Here's my crazy fish. This was Valentine's Day or something. This is my crazy big eye girl. My pears. This is my first set of pears I did for Sam and Kenny. Started her, haven't finished her. Another art game. Of course, see. This is just some doodly stuff. Another art game. Jackalope. Um, I think that's about it. Yeah, that's it. I think we are done. Is that it? Oh, well, there's this little one. Thank you. I have a pair of painting that I sent to Faith. That was even more awesome. This was my first attempt at my Rapunzel for my Big Eye Girls. One of my ideas. I kind of like it because it came out kind of old looking. That was just a face from the clouds. This right here was something I I seen the her like it was on Sherpa's palette, and this is what I saw. You know, to me, what it would be. So that was fun and interesting. Then my little flowers. Another attempt at my Rapunzel. You're welcome. Another one of my Rapunzels. Another one of my Rapunzels. This was my absolutely first one I, of art game. I know it was because I remember the, the turkey. This was just a play around. That was some creepy little girl. Creepy clown. My Buddha head. Another abstract face. And another weird face. And that is it, people. That's it. We're done. We're done for the night. Thank you, everybody, for coming. And I enjoyed having everybody here. Thank you all for stopping. And I will catch you again. Hope you enjoyed the, the, the uh, haul. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.